so this is just going to be a short video uh i recently took some creative liberties and decided to cut a hole into the top of my minivan uh i'm working right now this is not the minivan but uh but yeah so i'm going to insert a clip and a couple pictures here i did not record myself doing it i know i should have but it's too late now So yeah, uh, that's it. It wasn't too difficult. Uh, I think the hardest part out of all of that was cutting the headliner on the inside of the vehicle because it did not match up at all. I overcut and I mean, honestly, I just have to live with it. It doesn't look too terrible on the inside. I could find something to cover it up with, but um. But yeah, the other project I recently got done with is I had my passenger seat removed. And yes, that did cause a uh, airbag sensor light to like permanently stay on the dashboard unless I cut out. Well, I need to check to see if I can cut it out, but I'm going to try to cut out the airbag uh, sensor cable and pad from the passenger seat and then put it on the, uh, the seat that I made. Which I'll include now. The next day. Okay, so right now I'm at my storage unit finishing up the bed remodel. So pretty much uh, after I cut it in half, uh, just with the way that I had these, I was able to take that half and then use them as dividers. And this is the I don't know the measurements of what those supposed to be for. Uh, I think two by fours for the uh, supports. I'm just gonna take them and section them off so that way my clothes don't slide all the way down there or whatever else I keep in here. And this just happens to be a perfect fit. When I checked the forecast yesterday, it called for sunny, partly cloudy, and now it's a severe thunderstorm, so kind of rushing to finish this as quickly as I can, because I definitely do not want all my stuff getting wet. A few moments later. And literally two seconds after I say that, what happens? The thunderstorm starts. Or I guess the rain part of it. I just really don't want this to get wet. And this could last for hours, so... Yeah. Really screwed the pooch on that one. I think my biggest reason for not filming most of everything that I do is because I don't actually know what I'm doing. And I'm just winging it most of the time. I pretty much just, you know take the ideas in my head and try to materialize them in real life the best that I can. Like, like this, for instance, that uh, I stripped the top of it, so I just bent it over because I can't get it out. There's a whole bunch of imperfections on here that I just, like this, this whole section right here, I had just cut out a divot because of the way that I pasted that together. I messed it up. So I kind of just made it work. It sounds like the rain might have slowed down out there, so I might be able to get this back out of here so I can actually sleep on my bed tonight. For anyone who's wondering, the Jackery 1000 is a great thing to run power tools off of. I've ran a circular saw and a jigsaw uh, with this. I don't know where my jigsaw went, uh, but yeah, it's it's been great. It's, oh, there it is. It's been able to run them both, no problems, except if the circular saw gets caught on something, like if uh, if it runs into something that it can't like just cut through like butter, it like requires more power, and then it like blows the uh, the fuse or whatever. 
not only blows it, but it, it turns itself off because it's requiring more power than I have. All right, so thankfully I was only stuck in here for an hour. Uh, the rain didn't last as long as it said it would. So I'm gonna end the video here. I'm about to slide the bed back in there. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification icon.